guys and welcome to the Family Fudge. Are you looking for some school lunch inspiration? Stay tuned. Okay guys, so if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jennifer and on this channel I like to share things that are sort of mommy and family related, which includes a lot of recipes. Now normally I tend to share dinner recipes, freezer cooking, that sort of thing, but recently I've had a lot of requests for lunch recipes, specifically kids school lunch ideas. So that's exactly what I'm gonna share with you today. But not only am I gonna show what I'm packing for my three oldest kids, I'm also gonna share with you the after, what they came home with, what they ended up eating, and what they left behind. I think that's a really interesting idea because not only does it teach me what the kids really like to eat and what they don't, but it also teaches me how much to send because obviously I don't wanna leave my kids hungry, but I also don't wanna send too much food that it just gets wasted. Good morning guys and welcome to Monday. So I'm gonna show you what I packed for my three older kids. I have a seven year old, a five year old, and a three year old. So I try to pack the same lunch for each of the kids if I can. I just change the quantities a little bit because my three-year-old definitely doesn't eat as much as my five-year-old or my seven-year-old. So I'll go ahead and show you what I packed. So we have some pirate's booty, some carrots, and in this cute little container I have some homemade ranch dressing. We also have a quarter of a banana, some cheese slices that I made into hearts, and we have half of a PB and J. Now I know it looks kind of like a funny shape because I use my flour cookie cutter. This is just a Wilton cookie cutter. So I cut it into this shape and then I cut it in half because I find that a whole sandwich is just too much for my kids. Now for our special treat, I put in one vanilla cookie and that is it. Now, like I said, it's the same for each of these. Just this one has a little bit less in here. So they'll be taking this for lunch today. They'll also be packing their water bottles. Now, just as a side note, you guys, I do save the excess crusts and the cheese from when I make these cutouts because I have a toddler who would love to eat these and he doesn't really care if they're in a shape or not. So I definitely don't throw these away. Okay guys, so now it is about 3.30 and we just got home. So I can go ahead and show you how the kids did. First we have Lily's, then we have Jackson's, and here is Mackenzie's. So I'll go ahead and start with Lily's. Now Lily's usually my pickiest eater, so I'm kind of not surprised that there's kind of a lot left. Not too bad, but unfortunately she forgot to put her lid back on, so now we have ranch everywhere. And I knew she wasn't a big fan of the carrots, but I hoped that with the ranch that she would eat them anyway. And it looks like maybe she ate one, only one. And most of her pirate booty is left, which I'm really surprised about. She usually loves pirate booty. It looks like all of her cheese is gone. She did eat her PB&J, and she ate all of her banana, which is awesome, so not too bad. Okay, on to Jackson's. Let's see, he ate most of his carrots, uh, most of his ranch, he, I know he really likes ranch. He ate all of his cheese, he ate his cookie. Oh, yes, Lily ate her cookie. I forgot that there was a cookie in there. And then he also ate all of his banana and all of his PB&J. So he did really good, actually. Good job, Jackson. And now we have Mackenzie's. Mackenzie talks a lot during lunch, so I think that affects how much she actually eats, but she did pretty good as well. We just have one carrot left. Let's see. Um, mm, she ate about half of her ranch. She ate all of her cheese, so the cheese was a hit. I will definitely pack cheese tomorrow. She did not touch her banana. Now these bananas are a little bit more ripe than the kids usually prefer, but I gave them to them anyway because I was hoping to use them up. So. Possibly tomorrow, these bananas might appear in a muffin form instead, and I think that they'll like those better. So Mackenzie did eat her cookie, and she ate all of her PB&J. So we're off to a good start. I had a lot of really fun lunch-making supplies come in the mail today, so I'm excited to start using those starting tomorrow. 
Good morning guys and happy Tuesday. Now Tuesdays are super crazy busy for us so I actually packed these lunches last night just to save a bit of time this morning yet I'm still running late. I'm not sure how it happens. But anyway, um, all the kids are going to school today and they have to have a lunch with no nuts. They go to a nut free school today. So. I also had to pack them a snack today and an extra drink. So I'll go ahead and start with the snacks. Each one of the kids has their own little reusable snack bag. And today it's super simple with just some pirate booty. And then on to the lunches. Now all of these lunches are pretty much the same. So each of the kids do have this little spoon fork um, knife combo. So hopefully I'll get these back today. Let's see right in here. So each kid has an applesauce cup some par steamed broccoli. So this isn't completely raw, but it's not mushy either. It's somewhere in between. And then I also have some turkey cheese roll-ups. This is just turkey and cheese in a tortilla. And then this is a little container of the homemade ranch like I packed yesterday. They really like that and it went, out, it went over really well. So there's the main lunch. Now I'm also packing an apple juice today. These are the ones from Costco. They're 100% juice, no added sweetener, so I really like these. And of course, they'll also be packing their water bottles and things like that. Okay guys, so it is just now past 4 p.m. and we finally made it home. And we can take a look and see what the kids actually ate today. So starting with, let's see, starting with Mackenzie's, it looks like, she ate all of her broccoli, which is great. Gosh, what was in here? I don't remember. Oh, her applesauce is gone. She ate most of her ranch and her sandwich or her roll-ups are gone. Now the interesting thing is that I did not send her to school with a Ziploc bag, so I'm not sure where she got this or what was inside. I'll have to ask her what this is about because I didn't send her with this. And it looks like she also ate all of her snack, which was the pirate booty. And we did get the spoon, fork, knife back. So that's great. So she did really well today. Moving on to Jackson. It looks like he also ate all of his snack. And surprisingly, all of his broccoli is gone. That's kind of a shocker. And then his applesauce is gone and most of his ranch as well. I see he has some of his sandwich left and I asked him about that and he said he didn't really like it because it was cold. So I might not make it this way again. And it looks like he had his juice and we got his spoon back, so that's great. And now moving on to Lily's. She also ate all of her snack and we got her spoon back, that's great. And then for her, let's see. We have one piece of broccoli left, which is pretty good. And then most of her ranch is gone. I think that's the key to getting them to eat the veggies to have the ranch. And I make my own ranch, so it's not quite as bad. I think it's not too bad. And then her applesauce is gone. So I'm not quite sure if she ended up throwing that away or if she ate all of it. Um, and she still has some sandwich left. So I'd say this sort of roll up sandwich, I might not make it again, or I might make it a different way next time. So. I'll see you on Wednesday. So here's what we're having today. And as you can tell, the three kids pretty much have the same stuff. So today we have some steamed broccoli. This just has a little bit of butter, salt, and pepper on there. And then each kid has their own Activia yogurt. And then we also have some watermelon stars. Now it's not, it's definitely not necessary to cut your watermelon fancy, but the kids are always wanting to help me in the kitchen. And since we're at home today, it's a perfect project for them to help with because my cutters are not sharp. They're totally safe for the kids to help. And you guys, with what's left over, most likely I will eat this. And this is actually really good too if you take the excess watermelon and you um, blend it up and put it into lemonade. That's really good too. So this will not go to waste at all. So also, I made some grilled ham and cheese sandwiches, and I used my little sandwich maker. Those things are awesome. Um, and so right now, the kids just have three little triangles. I have a couple extra, just in case they want more. But basically, we just have ham and cheese in there, a little bit of mayonnaise, and some mustard. But I'll show you how I made those. Okay, so to make these sandwiches, I'm just gonna take some bread. This is whole wheat bread. 
and I'm gonna put a very thin layer of mayonnaise on there. It just helps the sandwich not end up being dry. And I'm just gonna take a piece of honey ham and a slice of cheddar cheese. Get that paper off of there. Now some of my kids like mustard and some of them don't. I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of mustard and spread that out. Top it with another piece of bread and then I'm gonna load these into my little sandwich press. And this can do two at once, which is really great. And this thing is plugged in, it's nice and hot. I found this on Amazon, if you're curious, I'll link it down below. And I'm just gonna close it up. And when the green light comes on, it's done. I'm gonna try to very carefully remove these without burning myself. Okay. And lastly, for a little treat, each kid has their own little pumpkin Jojo cookie. Now these are just like Oreos, but I think they're much better. These come from Trader Joe's and these are a seasonal treat. So I'm gonna go ahead and serve these up and then I'll show you what we end up with. Okay guys, we are now finished with lunch and this is what the kids left behind. Overall, they did pretty well. I do notice quite a lot of broccoli still left here. Uh, I noticed that when I serve broccoli with ranch, they seem to eat it a lot better. So maybe I'll have to serve it with ranch next time. Here's Mackenzie's. She ate all of her broccoli, which is awesome. She ate all of her watermelon, her cookie is gone, and all of her sandwiches. She does have a little bit of yogurt left. May well, maybe about half of the yogurt left. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this spoon off or out. I'll put some plastic wrap on top and stick it back in the fridge and she can have it around three o'clock when she's claiming she's hungry again. And then for Lily, she actually didn't eat her yogurt at all and it's not open. So I'll go ahead and stick that back in the fridge as well. She left quite a bit of broccoli. She did eat her watermelon. She said the watermelon was her favorite. Um, she ate most of her sandwich. I can tell there's a little bit of crust still here. These ones did get a little bit extra crispy, which she's not a fan of. So next time maybe I will take the sandwiches out sooner. Um, and then she has a bit of her cookie left. I'm not quite sure. But she has kind of a, a small tummy, so she doesn't normally eat very much. And then for Jackson, he left some of his broccoli. And you know, I could actually take this broccoli and just stick it in a little container and um, put it back in the fridge for later. Um, I might do that. But he ate all of his watermelon. He ate the most yogurt out of everybody, almost the entire thing, or pretty much the whole thing. He really, he really liked the sandwiches. And next time I'm gonna put maybe some pesto in the sandwiches, that would be really good. And then he ate his cookie as well. So overall, pretty good today. Good morning guys and happy Thursday. Today is a really busy day and we're about to head out the door. The kids have school and then they have their gymnastics class and then maybe later we'll head to Costco. I'm not quite sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we packed in the lunches today. And today is sort of a make your own lunchable day. So I'll go ahead and show you what we packed. First off, we have some crackers. Now these are just the regular ones from Trader Joe's. We really like those ones. And then I have some slices of cheddar cheese, which I have cut into flower shapes with this cute little cutter that I found at Daiso. Now, if you're curious, I do save the excess cheese sections and my one-year-old likes to snack on these. Let's see, we also have some rolled up smoked turkey and I like to put these on these cute little reusable picks. Now these ones are actually from the Dollar Tree and they're not sharp so they're really safe for the kids. And I like that they keep the meat sort of rolled up and looking nice. And then I also have some grapes, some carrot sticks and a little container of ranch dressing. The kids really like the ranch dressing so I just send a little bit. And then they also have a juice today. I usually do juice on Tuesdays and Thursdays, kind of a special treat. This is the organic apple grape from Costco. And then for their treat, they have a fruit leather. Now this one is from Trader Joe's in the apple raspberry flavor. So they love these and I know they're gonna love this as well. Now pretty much all of these are the same, like I said. However, for my three-year-old, I do cut up her grapes. Um, grapes make me a little bit nervous with her because she doesn't usually slow down to eat, so definitely cut her grapes. And that is it. So I'm gonna go ahead and package these up, and then when we get back home, I will show you what they ate. Okay guys, so we just made it back home, and I'm about to pull their lunch boxes out. 
to see what we are left with. Today it was like 100 degrees. It was super hot today. It does not feel like fall here at all. Oh, there's Jackson's ice cream. All right, open it up. So this one is Mackenzie's. I have my ice pack back. That's great. Let's see what she ate. Okay, so Mackenzie ate all of her Lunchables, so the crackers, the cheese, and the meat. And I got my pick back, that's great. She did not eat all of her carrots, so I'm a little surprised about that. And she didn't eat all of her grapes either. She must have wanted to play instead of eat. And there's a little bit of ranch left in there. So not too bad, I see that her juice is gone and her um, fruit leather is also gone, so that's pretty good. And now on to Lily's. Lily is <clears throat> almost four. Her birthday is next month. And oh, here's my ice pack. I got that back. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like we have one cracker left and one cheese. And I only sent her with three of each of those, so that's not the best. She did eat her meat though, so that's good. And carrots. She is not a fan of carrots, but I really need to go buy some different veggies because I was out. It was like carrots or nothing today. So we did get my pick back. Let's see. She has most of her ranch there and she ate all of her grapes. I think she said the, grape, the grapes were her favorite. So not too bad, not too bad. On to Jackson's, let's see. Oh yes, and her juice is gone and her fruit leather is also gone as well. And for Jackson, Okay, his grapes are gone. Again, we have carrots. I think I'm gonna have to try a different veggie because it didn't look like anybody finished their carrots today. Not one of them. Let's see, he's got two crackers and three cheeses left, which is not, not very good. He's definitely gonna be hungry later, I think. Let's see. He ate most of his ranch, but he still has carrots. And we did get the pick back. Um, and he did have his juice and his fruit leather is gone as well. So, oh yes, and tomorrow I'm hoping to try out some new thermoses that I bought for packing lunches. I'm interested to see if it really keeps the food warm and for how long. So, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys and happy Friday. I'm gonna have to run through this pretty quickly because I need to head out the door. But today my older two kids have a field trip and my preschooler, she's staying with me, but I went ahead and made her a lunch just like the older kids anyway. And today I'm trying out a new thermos, these new thermoses that I've never tried before. So hopefully those will go over well. Now because I'm using the thermos today, I don't really have room in my lunch box for my regular containers. So instead, I'm using the sandwich container and I'm dividing it with my silicone cups. So just like that. Now just like normal, these lunches are pretty similar. I just have a little bit of less food for my preschooler. So I'll go ahead and show you. In this container we have some grapes, some strawberries, and some cheese. Now this brown cheese I get from Costco, and it's very much like a baby bell cheese, except it doesn't have the wax wrapper. We have that. And then in the thermos today, we're trying out the Joe O's, which are very much like Spaghetti O's, but these are like the organic Trader Joe's version. So what I did was I started by taking all of my thermoses and I filled them up with boiling hot water. And I let it hang out there for about half an hour. Longer would have been okay, but I just don't have that much time. So then while that was happening, I heated up my Joe O's to almost boiling, like really, really hot. And then I dumped the water out of the thermoses and filled it with Joe O's. But it's not full, it's probably just about halfway full because that's enough for my kids and then I put the lid on tight. So these claim that they'll stay hot for up to five hours, but their lunch time is really just in three hours. So we will see. I'll, I'll ask them if it stayed warm or not. Okay, moving on. For their snack today, I just sent a little cereal bar. They don't need anything fancy for a snack today. These I get at Trader Joe's, and this is the mango flavor, which is their favorite. Today I'm also sending an apple juice box, and of course they'll have their water as well. 
And then in this little container, I just have some pretzels. These square pretzels fit so perfectly in these little containers, and I think it's really cute. And this keeps them from getting soggy, so I didn't put the pretzels in with, with these guys. And also, I've remembered to pack their little spoon fork deal. So, these are pretty much the same like I said. I'm going to go ahead and pack these up, and then I will show you at the end of the day what they ended up eating. Okay guys, it is now almost 7 p.m. on Friday, and I'm just now getting to the lunch boxes. We had a crazy afternoon, we went to a birthday party, had lots of fun, but now it's time to see what the kids actually ate so that I can wash these and put them away. I'll go ahead and start with Mackenzie's first. Let's see. It looks like she ate everything that was in here, so that's awesome. There was a lot of fruit in here and some cheese, so she did a great job there. And then, overall, you guys, I'm super impressed by these thermoses. Now, if you're curious, I'll go ahead and leave a link down below, because I did find these on Amazon. But just as a warning, on Amazon, these have really mixed reviews. So I've only been using them for one day, so I'm not 100% sure that they're always going to be awesome, but today, they really worked. So. Um, the, the filling them up with hot water first, I think, really helped to keep these warm. And they weren't just warm. When the kids ate them, they were actually hot. Like, the kids had to wait for them to cool down before they could actually eat them. So I'm excited to try some other things in here next week. And as you can see here, we had SpaghettiOs, or the Joe-Os. Mackenzie ate, I don't know if it's focusing on here, but let me see. There we go. Mackenzie ate most of hers, almost all of hers. The kids did say that this wasn't the best spoon for like scooping down in there, so I'm not quite sure what, you know, maybe I need a different spoon for this, but she did pretty good. And then I can see that she also ate all of her pretzels, her granola, or her cereal bar is gone from there, and her juice is gone. So overall, she did really well. Moving on to Jackson. Now he told me that he liked his SpaghettiOs or his Joe O's, but I can see he really didn't eat very many of them. So maybe next time I just pack him less, less of those. And then let's see, in here, he left his cheese. He says he's not a fan of Baby Bell cheese, which is a news to me because he used to like it. Um, but he did eat almost all of his grapes. I see just one, and he ate all of the strawberries except for that little bit. Now, his pretzels, he did not touch his pretzels at all. They're still there, but you know what? These are still good, so maybe he'll eat them tomorrow. And I can see that his cereal bar is gone, and what else did he have? He had the juice. His juice is gone. So, not too bad. I wish he hadn't have wasted that whole cheese, but oh well. And then on to Lily's. Now, I do have to say that Lily did not eat any of her Joe SpaghettiOs because she claimed that she didn't like them at all. So this is clean because I ate them because I thought that they were really good and they were hot. So I personally know that these do keep the food hot because I got to try it myself. Now I ended up sending her with some extra protein instead since I knew she wasn't going to eat the SpaghettiOs. So I sent her with a yogurt tube, which is still in here. But I sent her with a string cheese, which is gone. I have no idea what this is. It looks like this is some kind of toy. Legs or something. I'm not sure where she got that from. I'm really surprised she didn't eat her cereal bar because she usually loves these. And it looks like she ate half of her pretzels. Let's see. And in here, I feel this is really heavy. It looks like she barely ate anything. So I'm really surprised that she's not starving right now. I see she ate some grapes. It looks like she poked, maybe she poked at her cheese and I don't think she ate any strawberries. So I'm gonna have to work with her and get her to eat some more. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me for this first week of school lunch ideas. I hope you found them helpful. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And if you are subscribed, go ahead and hit that notification bell. That way you'll know every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.